All right, Tim, take a look at the Seven Tour P10. Cool. So one of the most interesting things about this display, I think, is that it is an ultra wide. So what that means is, I think that's probably gonna be the best of both worlds in that we can put this in our car and it's not gonna be taking up a lot of real estate for our windshield, so we'll still be able to see what we're doing, but it's still gonna be a fairly large display, so we'll be able to see everything that's on here as well. So on the back, we got a camera. That's interesting. So if we want to actually record what's going on in front of us, we can do that with this. We got our power button on the top. We got a USB-A and an auxiliary port here on the right. On the left, we got a USB-C port. We got audio video in. We got a slot for a TF card, which is also a micro SD card. And it looks like maybe the backup camera. I'm not really sure. And it looks like it actually comes with a card. It actually comes with a very nice card. So this is a Lexar 64 gigabyte card. So that's cool. Okay. So we got a nice 3.5 to 3.5 cable. It calls this aux out. So I assume what we're gonna be able to do with that is connect that to this display. And then we can send the audio out to our stereo with that if we have an aux in on our stereo. We got a USB-A to USB-C cord. We got a nice long cable, which is a cigarette outlet to USB-C port. So if you wanna supply power to it, that is gonna be through that USB-C port in the side. One thing that's cool about this is that it actually turns into a USB-A port on the back. So we actually get another USB-A port just by plugging this in. And it says this outputs five volts at three amps. Okay, so it actually does come with a backup camera. It's pretty cool. So this is a standard swivel bottom. We have an adhesive pad, so if you just want to stick it on, we can do that. We also have a couple of screws, so if you want to, we can screw that in through those holes. So that is what this plug is. That is going to plug into this port right here. And then I'm assuming we're just going to have to supply power to it with this little wire. So if we're going to use this as a backup camera, we would splice this into the backup lights. That way this is going to turn on anytime you put the car in reverse. And here is our mount. That's interesting. We have a nice big adhesive pad. We also have a couple of holes in here. So if we want to, we can screw this down or we can just stick it on. We've got a lock here on the right so we can swivel this guy up and down. And it does have teeth on there, which is good. So we don't have to worry about that thing moving and sliding around. We got these hooks and that will slide into those slots. So we just drop it in and just kind of press it on. So we can loosen that up, change our rotation and then change our tilt. That's cool. It actually comes with an extra pad. That's nice. Then we have this, looks like a USB-A, no, oh, that's cool. The USB-A to micro SD. So if we're recording to this card, we wanna get the data off of there. It actually gives us a way to do that. So that's pretty cool. And then we got the instructions. Full color too. So this is saying that extra port is GPS. So if you have a GPS module and you want this to be able to record the location speed, you can use that. So let's plug this guy in and I'm just gonna plug it into this adapter to test it. Oh, all right. Wow, that has got one heck of a speaker on it. Okay, format SD card. Touchscreen, that's nice. That has a very bright display on it too. So if you're gonna be driving during the day, you don't have to worry about as much glare. That's very nice. So, dash cam. <laughs> that's cool, so it works right out of the box. So if I wanna see what's going on in front, I can record, I mean, th that kind of in itself pays for itself. The fact that this comes with a dash cam built in, that's really cool. Let's go to settings, formatting, format the card, yes. Okay, let's go back to video. All right, so this is a 2K resolution. No, we can actually do 4K. Cool. So if we want the file sizes to be smaller, we can use 2K. If we want it to be higher resolution, we can use 4K. Video duration, 120 seconds, 300 seconds, 60 seconds. So if we go to play back those files, if you want to be at five minutes, we just set that to 300 seconds. I'm gonna leave it right there. We have H.265 or H.264, so that's good. So if you want to have higher compression and smaller file sizes, use H.265. If we wanted to have lower compression, but better quality, H.264. I'm just gonna leave it at H.265 so we can get the most capacity out of that card. Collision sensitivity. Oh, that's cool. So if you're driving along and then somebody hits your car, if it, you know, if it feels a bump, it'll take that file and it will write protect it. So it won't be able to write over top of it. Otherwise, it'll just keep on writing over top. So that's cool. So we got high, medium, and low or off. We can also record sound or turn that off. I'm going to have that on. And then we got preview mirror. So that is neat. Brightness. So we got day, which is going to be super bright. We got night, which is going to make it darker. Or we got auto, which will make it detect. So if you do a lot of night driving, you don't want this thing just blowing up your face, throw that in auto or night. I'm just going to leave it at day just for this video. We got Wi-Fi information, which is gonna show the information that you can use to connect to this. Restore factory defaults, about, audio, volume control. Okay, cool. So if this is too loud for you, we can turn that down. Key sound on, key sound off. So that's when you press a button. We can turn that on or off. I'm gonna leave that on and then switching sound as well. So let's go back. So now we are recording. We can see that little red light turning on and off. And that means that we should be able to take pictures. Cool. 
So, okay, so this is rear. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to work. I should probably turn this off before we plug it in, but I'm just gonna YOLO and see what we get. Because sometimes these require power and sometimes they don't. No, oh, they don't. Look at that. So that means that this little red cord you don't have to plug that in. So if you don't want to go to the effort of actually running that thing, you don't have to. What this is actually for then, if you want this camera to automatically turn on and off whenever you put the car in reverse, then you can plug this in and you'll get that functionality. If you don't want to go to that effort, you don't have to. It just works out of the box. That is awesome. So let's go back to settings system so you have adas so that is for gps so if you have the gps module you can use that streaming media we can turn that on or off projection mode the device will shut down we'll go into projection mode please restart device manually after shutdown okay cool so that means we got split screen. So what that means is we can use the camera still, have that thing on the right, but we can still mess with all the settings. So if we want to do like uh, Android Auto, CarPlay, we can have all that on the left and we can still use our cameras on the right. So that is pretty awesome. So let's turn that back off. And that, that display, the touch screen on here, that is actually very impressive. Like it's, it's working very well. I have not had any problems with clicking. Mobile link screen cast, we can go from cast to mirror. So if we're playing something on our phone, but it doesn't work on Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, we can still use that and we can still display what's on our phone on this display just as a display. So very cool to got that. Screen sleep mode, we can turn that on or off. So after 10 seconds, if it doesn't do anything, it'll turn this off. So it's kind of a way of saving power or uh, just saving the display. I'm going to leave that off because I want this thing to be on all the time. Storage status. Okay, so this is telling us how much of that SD card we've used. Language. I'm going to keep it on English. Time setting. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, sure is. That's cool. So let's change that. Instead of 24 hours, it's going to be on 12 hours. A little bit easier for me to read. And driving habit selection. Oh, okay. So if your steering wheel is on the left, then we're going to keep that on left. If you have a car in like the UK or something like that, it's on the right. You can change that to the right. I'm going to leave it just like it is. This is one thing that's really cool because, you know, the question becomes, how do you actually play the music from here, like from Android Auto, onto your car? We have an FM tuner. So... Right now it's set to 108 megahertz. So if you ever play with one of those old school FM transmitters that you would plug into like your Walkman or something like that, you set that to, we'll say 108 megahertz, then you set your car stereo to 108 megahertz, and this will transmit all the audio to your car stereo. So very cool that they got that. If you want to change that, so if 108 megahertz is currently occupied, we just change that to whatever is empty, so 92.2, then I go change my car stereo to 92.2, and we'll play whatever this is receiving. So that is very awesome. I really like that they got that. So we got that option. We also have the auxiliary cord. So if your car has an aux port you can use that basically if your car has a working stereo this should be able to work with it we got our files okay cool so here we can see we've taken three front pictures rear video so here we can play back whatever this rear camera was playing <laughs> with the audio that's cool. Oh, and we also had emergency video. So if we had that crash detection on, it would save it to that emergency file and then we could see it there. Very cool. Now the fact that this has both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I wanna actually kind of stress, this actually looks better to the eye than it does on camera. I'm gonna try to trim that down a little bit. Now it just looks way better to the eye. So the camera isn't picking up the full quality of this. I'm just gonna say that right now. This is a very nice looking display. My phone is an Android Auto. So I'm going to go to Bluetooth, and it's telling me to look for this name, so I'm just going to look for that in Bluetooth. There it is. Okay, found it, and we'll hit pair. Okay, cool. So now we have Android Auto. That was actually very simple. Now there is another option. If we want to connect this directly wired, we can use this cable. So yeah, it's working right out of the box. And it has a built-in speaker. It's only a mono speaker, but it does work. So if you want to just have this thing running, you don't have to worry about your car stereo. It does just work. Yeah, that is full Android Auto. That is just working right out of the box. But if I want to do a wired connection, I would just use this USB cable. Plug that into the back here. Then I could plug that into my phone. And we got the same thing, but we also have the benefit of charging our phone. So that's awesome. We got all the benefits of a modern stereo that you can put in any car. That is fantastic. Okay, so, so there it is. And we are in granddaddy's tow truck we got this is the main point of this thing for us we put the camera right there on the stinger so we can actually see what's going on now look at that that is awesome that's working oh, no. the coolest thing about this is just like it is dark out right now it is dark, but this camera can actually pick up a whole lot of detail. So that thing is super impressive. So he's actually got an iPhone 
So we're gonna connect to that. Go ahead and click on it. Use CarPlay. Okay, oh, cool. So now we got. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now, so now we got CarPlay, and yeah, it's working. So now he can use his phone with this screen. So he can keep the phone in his pocket. And what should happen is if we turn this guy off, it will disconnect. Okay, so that powered off. And then if we turn it back on. We'll see if it reconnects automatically. Might to might not. We might have to hit CarPlay. It did. When it so it took it a minute, it. but uh, but yeah, now we're connected. So he's got he's got his maps, he's got everything wow. that he wants to listen to, and he's got the rear view camera. Damn. That is that is really awesome, actually. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, wow, bro. All right, so just hit it right there on yeah, hit it on the screen. What I'm curious about is, am I going to be able to hear you from your uh, phone, or am I going to hear you from a mic on that thing? So try and speak into the phone. Hey, can you hear me, Jesse? Okay. Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Okay, and then go get closer to the stereo. Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's actually picking up the mic off of that. So that's got a mic. So that's good. So yeah, you can literally leave the phone Six in your pocket. Minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. <laughs> you fresh your own. Oh, oh, oh. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, that thing works bro. awesome. God right dang, this thing does everything. Yeah, that's bad. That's that's real cool. So yeah, we're happy with that. Right, that is a huge upgrade for this old truck. Right on, it, it is. <laughs>